you need to pull deep soil samples or not? Well, the answer is yes. That's very simple, Brian. We do need to look at what's going on deeper in our soil, but how deep is actually going to be important and relevant to the crops that we're growing? That and, may be and, a different discussion. And how often? I mean, how often do you want a guy to pull deep soil samples? Well, look at what we're doing. Uh, most of the time with current farming practices, we're manipulating the top few inches of soil, maybe eight inches of soil at the most. And, and we're turning that over with tillage or we're growing roots that are primarily going to be in the top six inches of soil. We're applying nutrients to the top of the soil or maybe we're tilling them in five or six inches deep. All of what we're doing is up top. So it's really important that every year we're soil sampling, but down deep, how often are we changing the 12 to 24 inch soil profile? Not very often. Okay, before we go any further, you made the comment every year soil sample. You don't have to soil sample every single year. On our farm, we are because we're making dramatic changes. We're trying to take yields up to incredibly high levels compared to where we are today. I'm not saying we're doing it instantaneously, but anyway, because of the major changes we're doing, we're sampling every year. If all you're doing is maintaining things, you can probably soil sample once every two to four years, don't you think? Well, for most farmers, that's what they're going to do. And the reason why is they're gonna make the choice. Uh, this is what I want to afford. I wanna to afford to be able to do it this often. I don't wanna spend that money. I'd rather use that money for something else in between. I'm gonna argue that you're gonna see some value by doing it if you're making the changes that Brian's talking about. And if you're actually willing to change on your farm. If you say, I'm not gonna do anything different. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just wondering, do I put on 100 pounds of nitrogen or only 90 this year? Well. Okay, then, then yeah, you, the don't have to, you don't have to soil sample very often. But if you say, you know, I'm really curious, if boron is low, I'm putting it on. Or if copper is low, I'm putting it on, then by all means, you want to soil sample more often. The deep soil profile, though, you're not changing very much very often, unless you change your farming methods and you say, I'm gonna to go to strip till, I'm gonna start putting nutrients in a foot deep or something like that, yeah, or do some deep, deep tillage. Well, then you may you may want to do it more often. Yeah, but let's just say you're out there strip tilling. And like for us, we put a lot of fertility 8 to 10 inches deep. Well, now instead of a 0 to 6 inch core, we're just going to pull a 0 to 12 inch core. And then for that deeper soil sample, the one we're talking about today, 12 to 24 inches deep, and you can separate that however you want. You can pull, let's say, 12 to 18 and 18 to 24, or you could just pull a 12 to 24. That's up to you. But the point is, you're not going to change that very often. You don't have to sample that very often, but you should sample that occasionally just to find out what's going on. So on our farm, for example, we aren't gonna do every single grid point every year really deep, but we'll take just a few grid points in just a few fields every year and find out what is happening in that 12 to 24 inch depth. Here, we'll give you just some examples of some things that we have learned from those deep soil samples. One thing would be soil pH. When we think about, oh boy, my pH is really low. I need to get a whole bunch of lime out here. And then you start looking deeper in the profile and you realize, wow, my pH is actually seven down deep, or it might even be a little higher than that. What am I doing? You've got to evaluate what your practices are that are making that pH drop into the fives in the top part of your soil. Because if you just went out and did some deep tillage and mixed it all up, you get your pH right back to a, a good point in the mid sixes. So those are some of the things that I would, that's probably the first one that I'd look at is what's my deep soil pH and uh, what am I doing to affect that up top? Now, the other thing, Darren, though, is let's say we do have a really high pH down below. That might indicate, hey, there's a drainage issue and that could work its way all the way up. So I might look at that and if I see an eight pH down really deep, I'm gonna go, ooh, boy, I see my salt level sign, my sulfur level sign, my boron, all these things that should be leachable, they're high, my pH is high. I got a drainage issue. I now have figured it out just by the soil test, so I need to get my drainage evaluated. Well, yes, and you're going to see a compaction layer as well many times. So as you're going down and probing deep into the soil, you may hit 10 inches and you just can't get it through there. There's a really rock hard layer that should tell you what your plant roots are gonna be able to do. If you can't, as a, a strong human being, push down through that, how is a tiny little root system gonna get through that? And one of the yeah. first things that we learned when we did some deep soil sampling is, wow, we've got a lot of moisture down deep and we're suffering from moisture up top. So compaction may be another thing that you discover on your journey here with the deep soil test. Well, the other thing that we saw on our farm, very low organic matter levels and very low fertility levels in that 12 to 24 inch range. What's that tell you? That tells you there's not a lot of root growth down 
down there. So that's when we started addressing some of our compaction issues. We've started building that deeper profile. We've also injected manure down, clear down to 20 inches deep in some fields. That has really helped. Gotten a lot more roots down there, helped build the organic matter, helped build the soil fertility, because on our farm, we don't have irrigation. When we get dry in the top 12 inches, guess what? If we have moisture and nutrients down in that next 12 inches, we're gonna have a lot better yield. And you know what, there are a lot more things that I'm gonna be looking at in that deep soil sample. We're gonna go more in depth on that coming up in September's Ag PhD Insider Magazine. For more information on that, uh, you can just go to our website, agphdinsider.com, uh, and sign up for the magazine if you would like, and check that out. But you don't have to go anywhere to learn more about our Weed of the Week. It's coming up next.